I grew up on a farm here in the Midwest. It's a very special place. We don't just care about our families, we care about our communities. And climate change really threatens life in the Midwest as, as we owe it today. I've spent a big part of my career focused on risk management, including financial crises. And it's very important that we understand climate risk, not just as an environmental risk, but as an economic risk. I come from North Dakota. We've seen more frost-free days. We've seen a longer growing season. We've seen slightly more moisture. And with it, a change in agronomic practices and the mix of crops that are grown. I think agriculture in the Midwest will be affected by climate change. Exactly how, how soon, and how severely that evolves, we don't know. Yield drops can be anticipated under many of the scenarios that are outlined in the Risky Business Report. What we can do to adapt and mitigate those yield decline is important, not just to feed people, but also to do it on the least possible amount of cultivated land. When you look at temperature increases, what we're very likely to see is in major cities like St. Louis, extended periods of time where we have unbearable heat in the summer. It's difficult to work outside, this impacts health, it adds huge costs to government as they need to adapt. There's a very strong likelihood that parts of the Midwest will no longer be big producers of corn. I'm not just talking about missing one year, having one bad crop year. Here we're talking about changing growing patterns and climate zones, major changes, the likes of which we haven't seen. I think the pace of change in climate is something that needs to be part of our discussions as well. Clearly we have over the last 25 or 30 years experienced changes in the U.S. Midwest. A concern needs to be if that pace picks up and gets beyond the rate of adaptation. Business as usual doesn't work. It poses a threat to the way of life as we know it in the Midwest today. And so it's very important that large businesses, small businesses, really all businesses, manage climate risk as they would manage any other risk. I think it's important that businesses also understand it's not just their problem, it's a community problem, it's a regional problem, it's a national problem. It, for that matter, it's a global problem, and, and many businesses are global businesses, and they need to play a responsible role globally. As we think about the risky business study, that the real goal of it is to get business, in particular agriculture as a business, engaged in the conversation, and to think about what if, what if this is the temperature patterns that we experience 10 years from today, 20 years from today, what tools would we need to act uh, in response to that. It is not acceptable for agriculture simply to say to the world, climate change too much, we can't feed everyone. What the Risky Business Study does is it gets the conversation beyond science, beyond politics, puts it in terms that are very meaningful to business because business needs to integrate climate risk into the decision-making processes. It's not something they can just look to government to solve. I'm hoping that Midwestern business leaders will see this study as a wake-up call.